I welcome all from Drug Mall Informatics. Uh, these are the list of softwares, the supporting softwares, uh, which have been used for making uh, Autodoc Wiener tutorial. The first one is Discovery Studio, Python, MGL Tools 154, Autodoc Wiener itself, PyMall. Now, how we are going to install uh, these softwares? especially MGL tools and Python. Uh, the procedure is already given on the link uh, at YouTube and you can access it for getting the instructions. And Discovery Studio and PyMall can also be uh, installed using the default parameters. And now we are going to show you how we are going to install Autodoc Vina. The full form of Vina is Vina is not Autodoc. After downloading the Autodoc Vina, you save it at some place, maybe on your desktop, then double click to open it, click next and save it at a convenient location, install at a convenient location. Here we are saving the Autodoc Vina in C drive. The address is C oblique Vina. Click next, and now Vina is getting installed. You can check later on if the, the folder of Vina is present in C drive. Step one, for this tutorial, uh, you have to download the Protein 1HSG from the Protein Data Bank, pdb.org. Uh, step two, uh, Go to Discovery Studio and the downloaded protein which is present on your desktop, you have, you have to open it, this HSG protein in that software, Discovery Studio. And then we are going to separate the ligand and the protein separately to make two files. So here we have opened up, we are parsing of one HSG file in Discovery Studio. You can double click directly also. And the Discovery Studio and then you can access the file 1HSG on the desktop. Here is the protein 1HSG. The red dots show the water molecules. The ligand is bound in its binding uh, site. Go to scripts, ligand interactions. And this is the zoomed binding site area where the ligand, uh, crystallized ligand is in a bound state. You can name the residues, you can label them to ensure which amino acids are binding through polar and non-polar interactions to the ligand. From here you can again uh, open up OneHSG from desktop. Here again, scripts ligand interactions selection. We are going to select water molecules. And we are going to delete it from edit menu. We are going to select the protein chains. And again, we are going to delete it from the edit menu. So what remained is now the ligand, the crystallized ligand, which was present in the binding site. Now we are going to save it in .pdb extension and we can save this uh, in MGL tools 154 which is present in C program files. We are giving it in a name ligand.pdb. Again we are going to open up uh, this protein 1HSG from desktop. This time we are going to save the protein. So we will select the ligand and we will delete it from the edit menu. Protein and water molecules remain. This time we are going to select water molecules and again we will delete it. So what remained is the protein. We will save it 
again in the MGL tools 154 folder which is present in C program files. We are giving it a name 1HSG with file extension .pdb. This is how we have saved two files, one of the protein and the other of the co-crystallized ligand. Now the step three, now we have to ensure before running the MGL tools uh, that both the separated protein 1HSG.pdb and the ligand.pdb files, they are present inside MGL tools 154 folder. These were the files which we have prepared just now from Discovery Studio. And remember that we have to run MGL tools from the MGL tools 154 folder. There is a file uh, named ADT, which is a Windows batch file. And please do not open start uh, MGL tools folder from desktop menu. So here we are into the MGL tools 154 folder, and this is Windows batch file ADT. Double clicking on it starts the Autodoc tools. If this window of Autodoc tools doesn't prop up, pop up, that means there's something wrong with your graphic cards and you have to update it. We are going to open up one HSG. Can color it as per our needs. We are going to add hydrogens, only polar hydrogens. Okay. Now we are going into grid. First of all, choose which macromolecule we are going to work upon. One HSG, select molecule, initializing one HSG dot PDB. And this is how we are going to save the 1HSG protein again in a different file format that is PDBQT. This file would be saved again in MGL tools 154 folder. Now we are going to uh, form a grid box around the binding site. You can modify the number of points in X, Y and Z dimensions by rotating the dial. Here the dimensions of x, y, z are 26, 26 and 26. Spacing we have kept it as 1.0 angstroms and grid box center x, y and z. These are the following dimensions 16 Point zero seven two Y twenty six point five zero zero seven and Z three point seven seven four eight. Go in spin. Here you can rotate the molecule. And you can see the dimension of your grid box. You can spin the vector in all the three dimensions x, y, and z. The grid box should be large enough to accommodate the ligand in its extended conformation and as far as possible it should not go into the empty black space. Close it file close saving current so 
So our grid points are locked. Now we have hit our NHSG protein and now we are going to open the ligand. It has been initialized. Set number of torsions as 6. Ligand output again save it as PDB protein. In MGL tools 154 folder. Exit from Autodoc tools. Now, through this procedure, we have saved both ligand.pdb and onehsg.pdb in different file formats, that is, .pdb QT formats. Here you can see both ligand and protein are present in different file formats. We have copied them and now we are going in the Vina folder, which is present in C drive. Here we are going to paste it because uh, wherever Vina is present, we have to uh, paste the ligand and receptor files. The step 4, working on Autodoc Vina, we have to copy both onehsg.pdbqt, ligand.pdbqt from MGL tools folder to C Vina. Now we have to write a config file, open command prompt and follow the tutorial. Open a text file, name it as conf and write the following instructions. Provide name of the receptor and ligand. Out.pdbqt file will will contain the different bioactive confirmations that uh, the autodoc software will provide. It is important to include the grid uh, box size also. This is an optimized value of exhaustiveness 8. Go to command prompt and move your shell to Vina. Type the following command which you can see on your screen.
the or Vina software detects the number of CPUs in your computer. Here you can see it has detected two CPUs. The job is nearly over. So this is the list of the nine bioactive conformations with their affinity and RMSD values. We are going to run another script that is Vina split. And this is going to split all these nine docked conformations from the single file that is out.pdbqt. Now you can see the different confirmations, dog to confirmations that we have received from Veena software and they are present in your Veena folder. You can check each of them as per your requirement. Step 6, open PyMol. Uh, we are going to open one hse.pdb which was downloaded from RCSB database and the ligand one hse.pdb converted from open bubble. And we are going to see the overlay between these two structures. Open PyML, file, open, one hse, open, go to action, reset, ligand. Again file, open, this time open up the ligand. Reset to ligand. You can see the overlay of the two structures. You can hide the polar contacts. You can see the perfect overlay of the dogged conformation of the ligand and the bioactive one. This suggests that the simulation has been optimized. We can also calculate the RMS value between RMS value of the overlaid strip. During this so, uh, tutorial, maximum inputs have been taken from the Script Research Institute. Thank you.